Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Liquefied natural gas, or LNG, has become a significant source of clean energy, primarily due to its low carbon emissions and vast availability. To facilitate the transport of LNG over long distances, specialized vessels called LNG tankers are utilized. These ships are capable of carrying large quantities of LNG. But if you think they are massive, wait to see the enormous shipyard where they are built. LNG tankers have been an important component of the global energy industry for decades. Over the years, the design and capacity of LNG tankers has evolved significantly. Currently the largest LNG carrier in the world, QMAX sister ships, can carry up to 1.6 million barrels of LNG. The growth in demand for LNG as a cleaner and more efficient energy source has led to an increase in the number of LNG tankers. In 2021, the global fleet of LNG carriers was estimated to be around 700. Building these massive LNG tankers requires considerable investments and state-of-the-art shipyards, equipped with advanced technology from towering cranes to large dry docks. Tankers are typically constructed using high-grade steel and aluminum alloys that can withstand the extreme cold temperatures of LNG, stored at negative 260 degrees Fahrenheit. The tanks are insulated with special materials to keep the LNG in its liquid state and prevent it from evaporating. LNG tankers are built in the shipyard at sea. A skilled workforce begins shaping the ship piece by piece. They construct modules and sections on the quayside, then lift and assemble them in the floating dry dock. Once the structure of the ship is completed, the LNG tankers enter the outfitting stage where the personnel must pull about 268 miles of cable, make 3,000 piping connections, and install multiple LNG loading arms, along with other systems and equipment, as well as machinery. Some tankers have dual fuel engines that can run on both diesel and LNG. These engines are more environmentally friendly and cost-effective than traditional diesel engines. The unique properties of LNG require a specialized workforce for both construction and operations. Life on board these tankers is extremely demanding. LNG is a flammable liquid, meaning that in addition to the extensive fire prevention systems, the crew must undergo regular training and emergency drills to ensure their readiness in case a fire starts. It is also essential to control the temperature and pressure of the cargo continually to ensure its stability.
Additionally, the crew performs routine maintenance and repairs on the ship's equipment and systems to ensure they are in good working order. On the bridge, the captain and his mates use sophisticated technology to monitor the sea and weather conditions for safe and efficient transit. While some crew members might be on break, there is always a watchkeeper who stands awake to keep watch over the ship. During their downtime, the crew has the opportunity to engage in various activities, such as exercising, playing games, and connecting with their families and friends while at sea. Traditionally, LNG is transferred from the tanker to the hydrocarbon terminal through an extensive pipeline network connected to the loading arms on the jetty. However, new techniques have emerged for simple, quicker, and safer operations. As LNG vessels gain popularity, new LNG bunker supply vessels emerge. Companies like Nauticor are providing LNG bunkers to commercial ships. The transfer process begins with the arrival of the two vessels at a predetermined location and the positioning of the vessels alongside each other. The LNG is then transferred through a set of hoses and arms connected between the two vessels. Maintaining a safe distance and the vessel's steadiness is crucial, as even small movements can cause the hoses to detach and cause an environmental disaster. Additionally, the temperature and pressure of the LNG must be closely monitored to ensure that it remains stable and does not pose a risk to the vessels or the crew. The team on board adheres to strict safety protocols and procedures that prevent any accidents or spills. They are trained to ensure efficient operations and respond quickly to any emergencies. Another special technique to transfer LNG is through a floating tanker LNG terminal, also known as FSRU, which stands for Floating Storage Regasification Unit. This terminal comes to solve some of the economy's toughest energy supply problems, such as Bangladesh's. Only specialized companies can operate this unique floating system. The facility first imports the LNG through a piping system and then stores it. FSRUs have an enormous storage capacity. When LNG is needed, it is sent through the FSRU's regasification system, which is warmed up to its gaseous state using seawater or steam. The regasified gas is then sent to the onshore pipeline system for distribution. FSRUs might also be used for power generation.
FSRU is not the only solution for supplying power to isolated areas where traditional power plants are not feasible or economical. In May 2020, a groundbreaking floating nuclear power plant, Academic Lomonosov, began operations in the Tukotka region. The Rosa Tome project is the only of its kind. It consists of two KLT-40C reactors with a total capacity of 70 megawatts, mounted on a 474-foot-long barge. Academic Lomonosov was designed to provide power to remote regions and offshore installations in the Arctic and far eastern regions of Russia. The construction of such gigantic platforms is a complex and risky operation. For instance, the Apomatics oil platform required massive modules to be transported from South Korea to its location in the Gulf of Mexico through the Pacific Ocean. However, nature has its word. In the final stages of the hull's construction, a massive hurricane approached the shipyard where the platform is being constructed, with wind speeds reaching up to 145 miles per hour. The team knew that they had to act fast in order to avoid the super typhoon. The team was tripled, working around the clock schedules. With careful planning and execution, the team succeeded in evacuating the platform before the hurricane hit. The danger isn't over yet. The module had to face the strong waves of the Cap of Good Hopes and Texas 130 mile per hour Hurricane Harvey. With high resilience, the Apomatix once again avoided the storm and arrived in its final destination. The Apomatix oil rig is now one of the most technologically advanced in the world. The platform is capable of drilling up to 30,000 feet deep into the seabed. The crew's hard work is crucial to the success of the rig's operations. They work long hours in challenging conditions to ensure the drilling operation runs smoothly. They control the complex machinery and equipment daily, which keeps the platform operational and safe for everyone on board. It's easy to take for granted the oil and gas we consume on a daily basis. However, behind this energy source lies an array of intriguing and constantly evolving technologies, as well as thousands of individuals working tirelessly to overcome complex challenges and ensure that our society continues to function smoothly. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.